evening, an Albuquerque City Councilor says enough is enough when it comes to gun crimes. Now she wants the city to urge judges to hand down stricter sentences and is urging lawmakers to toughen the sentences for these gun crimes. News 13's Jamie Seymour is here with the tales. City Council says criminals need to be held accountable with significant prison time when they use a gun in a crime. Some state leaders agree. Albuquerque city leaders say it's time to crack down on violent crimes, but they need the help of prosecutors, judges, and state lawmakers to make it happen. I think our laws need to be strong and, and let the criminals know that they cannot just go out and commit a crime and then just go home and, you know, go back and commit another crime. Council President Cynthia Borrego says she's worked with APD to craft a memorial asking prosecutors to seek longer sentences for those who use guns to commit crimes and for judges to impose harsher sentences. She says too often criminals know how to work the system, so lawmakers need to pass laws with stricter sentences and close loopholes in existing laws. We need to just make sure that we tighten up all of these loose ends as much as possible. The proposed memorial for city council cites the crime wave hitting the city and highlights cases where police officers have been shot by convicted felons. Borrego says they also want to see a 24-7 GPS monitoring system put in place for suspects awaiting trial and convicts on probation. Now police immediately notified when they break the rules. State Rep Mo Maesta says he's on board with that idea. We need to uh, devote the resources in Santa Fe. We're prepared to uh, adequately fund the GPS monitoring system here. However, after House Dems announced a comprehensive crime package that doesn't include longer sentences, Maesta says more can be done with the laws currently on the books. The judge has a range of years to sentence a person and, uh, and, and violent criminals must uh, have the harshest sentences. If passed, the city would send the memorial to every state lawmaker in Albuquerque, along with the leaders of the House and Senate. Back to you. All right, Jamie, thank you. City Council will consider the memorial during tomorrow afternoon's meeting. It's set for 3 in the afternoon.